Recently, I started a new Next.js project and I thought of using Prisma along with uh, Nextauth. So I attempted to use the new Nextauth 5 and that was kind of a mistake. I don't, I don't know how stable this is and I've presumed that it wasn't in beta stage anymore. But then looking at NPM, it seems like the, the, like the actual last version is still the fourth one. And maybe as you're watching this, it could have been solved. But till this day, I've found like a lot of people just complaining about this persistent error on which when you use the fifth version, you get a lot of API calls to the session. Like it was about like four calls every time I accessed any page. The best suggestion here was to use kind of a Zood stand, which basically allows you to create um, global state variables. While this is a, like a, a nice approach, I really don't like to depend on global state variables. Let's just ignore the fifth version. I ended up creating one that uses the fourth version of Nextauth. But inside it, you have an issue on which, well, let's first do bun prisma db push because I just created the, the database, clear bun dev. Okay, it's gonna run the project. And I mean, soon enough, I'll, I'll make a video explaining how this starter kit works. I think it might help a lot of people. And what you can see here in the networks tab is that when I refresh the page, you get two calls of session. And this just really felt strange simply because if you go to settings, everything's working pretty fine. If you just go to the home page for the dashboard, okay, everything's still working fine to the admin panel, still working fine. If you sign out and try to access the dashboard, you get sent to the auth page on which you're able to log in. And if you wouldn't look at the networks tab, you would just assume everything is working just fine. But fetching it twice every every single time you visit the page is just really not ideal. And this is especially bad because these sessions are fetching data from the database. So the solution is pretty straightforward, but like it, while I was trying to fix this, it wasn't that straightforward at all. And it's basically to use this session inside the session provider. So session equals to session. We can import the session from the next auth. And as soon as you get all this, you have to import the session, fetching it from your auth. So like not exactly from the auth. I mean, it depends on how you structured your code, but the idea of fetching this from your auth right here is because I ex I've exported a get session. And this get session is basically a cache from the get server session. This would ideally avoid that the session is fetched multiple times. So yeah, it's just fetched once every time I like get to a different page. Not every time I get to a different page actually because of how routing is done in Next.js. But every time I load this again, you'll see that it fetches for the session just once. When you get out of the page and return, you see that it fetches for the session once again. And I, I ideally, I don't think that's a problem simply because uh, that's a way to like kind of ensure that the person is still logged in. Even if they leave this dashboard open forever, uh, eventually they will go to another page, come back, and they won't be logged in depending on their subscription or something like such. And this is it for this video. It was really just a, a fast fix for like a, a pretty minor problem. But I feel like if there were some kind of video like this on YouTube, I would have solved the issue way more faster simply because I assumed that the session provider was already doing something like this and it wasn't. The next video is probably me just presenting this next auth Prisma starter kit. Uh, there's not really much going on, pretty simple stuff. But there are some utilities here like start database.sh, which just creates the database for us. It's also really simple stuff, but it configures the ems for us already and creates like the password and everything. So I find it kind of useful and I do use it for all of my micro SaaS that I usually start from time to time. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Till then.